So I said last week that I was going to uh, preach the eulogy of Bill O'Reilly today and his career. Of course, uh, he is no longer the host of the O'Reilly Factor, the number one show on the cable news. Uh, as the New York Times reported, $13 million in settlements uh, with women after he was accused of sexual harassment. Uh, as Julian alluded to earlier, uh, on his podcast on Monday, Bill O'Reilly said the truth was going to come out and people were going to be shocked. But the reality is this, Bill O'Reilly, your career on Fox News is toast. You have sat on that perch, that bully pulpit, and you have attacked other people. You have sermonized from the mount of Fox News, if you will, uh, telling individuals uh, about their morals and values and their character. You have espoused these conservative values. You have talked uh, to your largely white audience, uh, holding rappers like Luder, Lud uh, Ludacris accountable, holding folks like Bill Clinton accountable, and things along those lines. But now, all of a sudden, the moralizing and the sermonizing can somehow go away because of the allegations against you. Now, last I checked, if, if I've ever were been <laughs> accused of sexual harassment, I can guarantee you uh, one thing. There would not be a $9 million settlement. But let's also be honest. That was a $9 million settlement with one of your former Fox News producers because she had you on audio sounding as if you were masturbating and talking about you want to use a loofah and to bathe her. The reality is this, Bill O'Reilly, you have been a gross hypocrite. The reality <coughs> is you have attacked numerous people on your show. You have blasted them. You have called them out. You have called <coughs> on advertisers to go after them as well. So, Bill O'Reilly, guess what? You have now gotten a taste of your own medicine. You now know what it feels like uh, to lose your job. Now, oh yeah, you got a $25 million payout. But the reality is television is your oxygen. You got off to that as well by being on the air and blasting pills. We have watched you over the years make your racially insensitive comments. We have watched you over the years attack Black Lives Matter, attack <laughs> civil rights leaders. We have watched you, Bill O'Reilly, over the years also attack uh, numerous folks who you simply disagree with, but now, all of a sudden, you are desiring sympathy from people. You will have no sympathy from these quarters. It is because you, sir, using one of your own favorite phrases, you have been a massive pinhead. You have been an embarrassment to Fox News for your treatment of people. The reality is this, Bill O'Reilly, sexual har harassment has no place in our industry. Oh, if you want to be a tough boss, if you want to hold people accountable, you want to have a high standard, that's one thing. But you don't have your job because of what you did, because of your moral failings, because of what, how you have treated other people. Again, you dared stand up and hold yourself with a certain moral supremacy, with a sort of values supremacy. You even wrote a book telling children about morals and values. Well, now, sir, you have time to reflect. And so, good riddance. We don't want to see you. We don't want to hear from you. And sure, you can have your podcast. And others are predicting you're going to get a job somewhere else. But the one thing we know, you will not be coming back to Fox News. You will not be on at 8 p.m. every single night. And frankly, America is better than a sexual predator is no longer on the air masquerading, fronting, playing, a journalist. Good riddance to your career. Job well done, but you've now go down in the flames. And your obituary, one day when it is written, will include being the top rated cable host, but also a sexual harasser. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37 year old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. Your hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.